always be in your heart. Little Brian, I have a gift for you. Your daddy gave me this. No, I'm gonna give it to you. It's very special. It's for protection from what's coming. If you're thinking you'd like to take in a movie this weekend, I hope you like vehicular mayhem. F9 is the ninth in the Fast and Furious series. If that's not enough action for you, The Ice Road is a new film shot in Manitoba starring Liam Neeson. With more, here's Eli Glasner. So Eli, normally this is where we'd ask you about the story, but does that really matter with the Fast and Furious franchise? No, I mean, look, what's amazing about Fast and Furious, it started, remember when these were movies about street racing? Couple guys in cars that go vroom, and now it's basically James Bond meets Street Racer. It all revolves around Dominic Toretto, Vin Diesel, as the patriarch of this family of gearheads who have become like car driving covert agents. Now, right off the bat, got on my good side with a flashback about Dom, the early years set in the world of stock car racing. So I thought it was a Days of Thunder sequel. Very excited, but it was actually about Dom, his brother Jacob, and what happened to his father. Flash forward to the present, the bad guys are trying to get their hands on some kind of high-tech device. You put the pieces together, you can control all the computers in the world, and wouldn't you know it, baby brother Jacob is very big boy John Cena, and he's caught up in the middle of it. Let's take a look. It was a long time, Dom. Little brother. You always say never turn your back on family. But you turned your back on me. Now your little family is in my world. And luckily for us, that's a world of ridiculous car stunts. I'm talking minefields, magnets, and Fast and Furious going boldly where the franchise has never gone before. All right. I don't know how you're going to rate this movie. Number nine is in the name. I'm thinking you usually do it out of five, so... Eli, what did you think? You know, I, I guess, like, the question is, is it fast enough? Is it furious <laughs> enough, Dwight? The challenge is that it always has to top itself. And so that's how we get these ludicrous scenes. I'm going to show you my favorite. Like, this fight scene in Edinburgh when Dom and Jacob, they're so tough. Maybe they're so dense. They're smashing through this apartment like cartoon characters. Like, there's literally a Vin Diesel-shaped hole in the doorway at one point. But that is just a warm-up to my favorite, a jungle chase. So Dom Tom and Letty, Michelle Rodriguez are in a car. Army commandos are in hot pursuit. Uh, and uh, the cliff is approaching. The bridge is out. And now there's nothing. Oh, there he is. He just took out the door with his head. But let's go back to that cliff race and watch what happens. Where's the bridge? Oh, the bridge is gone. No, no, no. Gone. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? Do it. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I can fly. You are watching a car swing Tarzan style over the abyss. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't have to make sense. But yes, that is what it is. Now, I don't mind the... I kind of have come to respect them. And I don't mind the fact that... Dom's crew have basically become the automotive Avengers. The problem with F9 is when it actually starts taking itself a little too seriously. Yes, they're welcoming back some fan favorites like Han and Queenie, but too much of this film is about Dominic Toretto, his past, and Vin Diesel using his Groot voice to rumble about the family. There's actually a scene where he flashes back and we see him visiting moments from his youth, this kind of ghostly, spectral Vin Diesel standing there like an oil-stained Ebenezer Scrooge in a Christmas carol, except it's just Dom standing there watching someone fix a car. And so, you know, this is certainly Vin Diesel's movie. He's the producer, he's the star. His ego is so big that he pushed Dwayne Johnson out of the way into his own spin-off. But that smug sense of self-importance weighs down what is otherwise a fast, funny ride. Okay, no number, Eli? Uh, yeah, yeah. One, two, I three. I, I won't force you, buddy, but you know. Let's give it three. Let's give okay. it three. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it moving then. Another movie. This one with a Canadian connection. Tell us about The Ice Road.
We begin in a diamond mine in northern Canada. There's a cave-in which traps a group of miners. So they're running out of oxygen. They need to find a way to release that methane gas. The only way to do it is to send heavy equipment on three trucks across the ice roads in Manitoba. But it's April and the ice is beginning to thaw, Dwight. Enter, of course, the one and only Liam Neeson as Mike, a gruff truck driver with a special set of skills who works with his brother Gertie, a disabled veteran who's a talented mechanic. You saw Lawrence Fishbourne as the guy who hires them and Amber Mid-Thunder as Tantu, the indigenous driver, taking the job to save her brother trapped under all those rocks. The less I say, about the laborious setup, the better. But as soon as we get onto the ice, as Neeson would say, release the Kraken. What the hell was that? Sweet Jesus, that ain't good. Spreading out. Let's go to keep cracking for two, maybe 3,000 meters. We're gonna have to run tight together. Go! So there you go. Well, F9 transcends physics to make cars dance like ballerinas. This is a little more ground, dare I say, honest. Ice Road was shot with real stunt drivers spinning 18 wheelers across frozen lakes in Manitoba in February. That deserves some kind of credit. Now, sure, cross-cutting the drama under the mine with what's happening on the road does get a little trying after a while. And a few of these characters are harder to kill than Wiley E. Coyote. Kids are going to have to look that up, but Space Jam is coming up soon, so you need to do your homework anyways. But if you're looking for something to rent at home, since most movie theaters here in Toronto are closed, or you just want to see Liam Neeson growl at snow, the ice road is waiting for you. Yeah, I might go with the Canadian connection this weekend. Thank you, Eli. Have a good one, oh, sir. Well.